But at least Trump has a lawyer in the Stormy Daniels case, which is more than he can say for the Russia investigation. Last week, Trump's lead attorney resigned, and for a minute, it looked like Trump was going to replace him with husband and wife lawyer team Victoria Tonesing and her husband Joseph DeGeneva, seen here playing the evil foster parents who want to send Beethoven to the pound. <laughs> but then, then turns out they said they couldn't do it because of conflicts of interest. And yesterday, Trump was rejected by two more prominent attorneys, Tom Buchanan and Dan Webb, who both rejected an offer to join President Trump's legal team, citing conflicts. Oh, oh, I'd love to be your lawyer, Donald, but I've got conflicts. It turns out I'm already scheduled to ride a mechanical bull made of cheese graters <laughs> and then squat in a bowl of gin, and I'd much rather do that. <laughs> now, this... <laughs> mechanical bull fans... Yeah, yeah. I was in the mime rodeo for a while. <laughs> now, this next part's weird. Some people are speculating that Robert Mueller may have told Trump that Mueller had concerns about Trump's own rights, and that diligent prosecutors, when they see a defendant doing something profoundly dangerous to their self-interest, including hiring lawyers who have conflicts, will raise it with a defendant and suggest they rethink it. Now, if this is true, then clearly the best lawyer Trump has against Robert Mueller is Robert Mueller. <laughs> I think, just for everyone's sake, mm. Mueller should argue both sides. <laughs> Your Honor, the president has clearly committed a flagrant act of treason. This is nonsense, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Trump is a patriot and a public servant. I object. Overruled. I'm the judge now, too. <laughs> I said good day. I rarely break a sweat up here. Meanwhile... <laughs> want to squeegee me off after this. Meanwhile, on the international front, there's speculation about a visit to Beijing by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, and get this, he's arriving on a mystery train. <laughs> a mystery train! It's, it's like murder on the Orient Express, and I'm already regretting using the word Orient. My apologies. <laughs> Sources say, sources say, North Korea has a mysterious green train that for years has been used for North Korean leaders to make secret trips. It's, it's the perfect way to throw people off your trail. Where could that mystery train be going? <laughs> could it be the track? <laughs> this is easily the most detectable transport for a leader <laughs> since Kaiser Wilhelm's Enigma Zeppelin. <laughs> now, now, little is known about this mystery train, hence the name. But we do know that it's been used for decades and that Kim Jong-un's father, Kim Jong-il, even had it decked out for lavish parties, bouts of heavy drinking, and karaoke. <laughs> now, that sounds fun until you're trapped in the dining car with a murderous madman singing Crazy Train. <laughs> aye, aye. <laughs> All aboard! Of course, <laughs> no Aussie fans. Okay, of course, <laughs> for security, all of the train carriages are bulletproof, but the additional weight means the train can reach a maximum speed of just 37 miles per hour. <laughs> so while you can't shoot it, you can beat it in a bike race. <laughs> the New York Times called it bulletproof, slow, and full of wine. <laughs> also, the title of Sylvester Stallone's comeback movie. We've got a great show for you tonight. <laughs> Sam B is here. But when we return, John Bolton's gonna kill us all. Stick around.